Trolling motors, trolling motors. How big a trolling motor should you buy? Whoa! That's a beauty. Good morning, guys and girls. August 27, August 27. We just had to have a little bit of heat wave come through before August got away, didn't we? Just had to have it here in the South. I thought we were gonna have the highs of 91, 92, 93. Heat index is 110 in Oklahoma the last few days. Okay, August 27, Romans 10, 11. I love this one. As the scripture says, by the way, speaking of scripture, if you're not subscribed to the Catch of the Day channel, subscribe to that channel right now. If you are, get one or two of your buddies, your, your girlfriends or guy friends, to subscribe to the Catch of the Day channel. It'll be the best thing you've ever done for them. I promise you it will change their life. We post a video every morning at five o'clock central time. And we have a fishing tip, a scripture, and a devotional for every single day. It will absolutely make you a better person. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. Romans 10, 11 says, as the scripture says, anyone, anyone who trusts in him will never be disappointed. Anyone who trusts in him will never be disappointed. Never be disappointed. Anyone who trusts in him will never be disappointed. Him, God Almighty. Him, Jesus Christ. Our fishing equipment has become so, so very reliable. I have many reels, several years old, and they've got thousands and thousands and thousands of fishing hours on them. They still cast great. They still work great. And I would trust them in any tournament. What about people? What about people? How many folks do we know who never disappoint us? Who never disappoint us? Not many, if any. But I have a God, I have a God I can trust in every situation all the time, all the time. Every situation, all the time. That's the kind of God that I serve. He's never let me down before and he never will in the future. He'll not let me down right now. I need him the most when the people I trust let me down. When the people I trust do things or say things about me or to me, when they steal from me, when they cheat me, when they lie to me, that's when I need God the most. And you know, you and I will fail and disappoint one another. Oh, look what's happening behind me. I can't help but just do this. Look what's happening back there behind me. Look at that. Uh, it's getting bright over there. The sun's coming up, but my goodness, look at that. Is that beautiful or is that beautiful? You and I, we will fail and disappoint one another. That's a sin in us. And, you know, I don't steal anything from anybody or cheat anybody, but without a doubt, I've disappointed a lot of people in my life. That's the sin in us that causes that. I've disappointed a lot of people in my life. When that happens, when that happens, run to God as quickly as you can. Run to God as quickly as you can. He's always ready with comfort for whatever ails you, for whatever hurts you. He'll take your hurts and he'll make them right. Forgive the people that hurt you. Hopefully the people that you hurt will forgive you. Run to God as fast as you can. You know, that's something that, that's something that we can probably, that's something that we can probably, I wonder why that wasn't clanging around like it always is. <laughs> That's something that we can probably make as our mantra in just about every situation, run to God as quick as we can. When something happens that is a little bit out of the ordinary that we're disappointed in or that we're afraid of or that we can't understand, run to God as fast as we can. That's one of the best things I've ever written, I think. Run to God as quickly as you can. Here's our tip for today. This is a good one. How big a trolling motor should you buy, I ask? Buy a more powerful trolling motor than you think you will ever need. In other words, however big a trolling motor you think you're going to need, buy the bit next size up. Uh, you know, I run as big a trolling motors as, as Minn Kota makes. I mean, uh, whatever the biggest one they make, that's what I'm going to run in my boat. I've told this story before. Back when we only had 12-volt trolling motors, and we run a trolling motor called a Silver Troll. A Silver Troll. It's been a long time since they've been around. A Silver Troll. It had a great big giant head in it about that big around and a big prop on the end of it. It's about that long, it's a big heavy trolling motor. 
12 volt, but it had a big property. It was the most powerful 12 volt trolling motor ever made back in those days. Probably still. That's probably would be more powerful than anything else. But I ran that trolling motor and, and I just wanted more power, more power, more power. And so I asked my dad, can I hook that up to 24 volts? He said, sure you can. I said, good deal. That's what I'm going to do. He said, but you're going to burn, burn the motor up. And I said, what do you mean burn the motor up? What will I run? And he explained to me that you would burn the armature up in a trolling motor. Well, obviously, I didn't know what an armature was. Still don't. <laughs> uh, but a lot of you said, Jimmy, you big dummy. But that's all right. But, uh, but you'd burn the armature up. And I said, how long will it take to burn the armature up? And Dad said, I don't know. Might burn it up pretty quickly. It might last a long time. And I said, will you show me how to hook one up to 24 volts? He said, after I told you what I told you, you still want to do that? I said, I do. I said, will it make it run faster? And he said, God, it's going to make that thing spin the prop off. It's going to spin so fast. And I said, Let's show me how. And so dad showed me how to wire two batteries up where you had, you know, you can wire them up where you have a big super 12 volt or you can wire them up where you have 24 volts. And uh, so well, I wired it up where I had 24 volts. I turned that puppy on. It was like an air conditioner on the front of my boat. That thing would, I mean, it would hum. I put that in the water. You could almost water ski behind that aluminum bass boat. It was an aluminum V-bottom aluminum boat. Now I'd put some uh, slats in the front of it where I could stand level. I'd put my trolling motor up on the front of it, and, you know, screwed it to the side with a, with a two before on there. So I had kind of an early day bass boat before bass boats were developed. That puppy would fly down that lake. I mean, I could go down the bank so fast. People would see me going down anything. I had my big motor running in the back, but, but, but I didn't. Uh, and and that, that it lasted, it would last all year long. It would last a fishing season all summer. And, and then it would start making a lot of noise and it eventually freeze up. I'd take it to Tulsa, to Moss uh, repair shop up there, electronics repair shop. I don't know if they're still there or not. It's a long time ago. And they would, they would fix it for 20 or $25. You know, when I, I learned about that armature, I asked my dad, I said, what does it cost to fix an armature? He said, I don't know. Call Moss up there in Tulsa and ask him. And I did and they said $25. And I said, last all summer I'll, I'll pay 25 now i realized i was working for 75 cents and a dollar an hour back in those days so 25 dollars is a pretty good chunk of money but i'd pay that to have a more powerful trolling motor and i did and i run that trolling motor i don't know how many years i'd take it back up there to moss they'd fix the armature i'd go run it again another year and it'd run fine all summer long so anyway whatever trolling motor you're going to buy when you get ready to buy a new boat and you get ready to buy a new uh, trolling motor and put on your boat whatever you think is as big as uh, that you need to use get the next size larger Get a larger one than you think you're going to need. Guys and girls, go out there and have you a good day. I don't know if my deer are still out there or not. They are. They're out there on the edge of the lake enjoying the morning. And I tell you what, I'm enjoying the evening. So y'all go out there and have you a great day. Make it a good one because it's going to be a great one. And remember, 